Hello and good morning to Golden Moments, episode two. Uh, episode two today focuses on a GCSE year 11 PE class who have been working as part of their coursework on a health and fitness unit. And in order to complete that, what they've done is they've enlisted some willing staff volunteers who are having a health and fitness program. Uh, we're going to hear in a moment from two of the students and also two of the staff who are taking part in that health and fitness programme. And first of all, I'm going to invite Fahim, if you can just step forward, sir, and tell me a little bit about what you're doing, please, Fahim. What we're doing is just, uh, we're, we're going to train the teachers who are willing to uh, give up their free time and we're willing to, uh, to give up our free time. And basically, we will be taking their BMI uh, with height and uh, with weight and this really enables us to, uh, it, it, it tells us what they need to do. So either they need to lose weight, either they need to gain weight. Uh, this can benefit, uh, benefit us in both ways because uh, healthy staff means that we wouldn't need to have supply teachers. And uh, so really, uh, it helps us in both ways. It gets us good grades and hopefully we'll all be getting A-stars. Uh, over to Sukban. Okay, Sukban, just a step forward. Thank you very much. So Sokban, just um, talk us through, um, how many staff have volunteered to do this scheme? Um, I think it's about 10, but each one of us gets one, one staff to train. Okay, brilliant. So what's the first step in the process then, Sokban? Um, what do you need to do first? Firstly, we get their height, so right. we work out from there, and then we go on to the weight, and then we work out the BMI from there, and I find so and then we know what to do with the staff. So if they want to lose weight, or they want to gain weight, and build a bit of muscle. Okay, thank you. And, and when you're actually putting together a programme for an individual member of staff, yeah. what kind of things are there in that programme for them? I think first we would uh, we'd take their weight and we see what they need to do according to their height. Yeah. So, as I said, we lose, either lose weight if, they, if they're a bit overweight or gain, or gain weight or if they want to gain muscle then it would uh, go on to the weight training more and uh, that, that sort of stuff. Okay, brilliant. And, and finally, really, um, in terms of the process, how long will it take from start to finish to get a, a member of staff? I mean, I'm not going to say about me, because I've got a long way to go in terms of fitness, but in terms of a you know, typical member of staff to get to their sort of target weight and fitness level? Um, it's a six-week period. Six weeks. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to hear in a moment from uh, two members of staff who, as I say, have been the willing guinea pig volunteers for this, um, and um, we'll find out how it's worked for them. So I'm now joined by one of the willing staff volunteers who's going to tell us a little bit about why it is she's volunteered for the programme um, and what particularly has happened thus far. So if you can do introduce yourself please. Hi, um, I'm Miss Finnerty and I am a teaching assistant here in the school. Um, I decided to join this because I play sport outside of the school and um, I wanted to be able to help the students gain a better grade while also helping myself with my health and fitness. Excellent, okay. So in terms of your target, is it um, to sort of get fit or lose weight? What are you looking to do specifically? Um, well, like every woman, I would like to lose a bit of weight. <laughs> um, but I would like to build a bit of muscle as well, just um, to strengthen myself for my sport. So. Brilliant, fantastic. And do you play sport at all outside of school? Yeah, I do. I play an Irish sport called uh, camogie, and it's quite physical. So um, I train outside of school as well, but I thought I'd make use of these students and listen to what they can do for me. Brilliant, fantastic and thank you very much for coming on this morning and, and also being so brave as to volunteer to be in the mercy of these guys over here. Thank you very much indeed. Um, we're now going to hear from a, another member of staff who's also uh, volunteered to put himself through the, uh, the, the rigours of this particular programme. Um, so if I can invite across please another member of staff, can you just tell us who you are sir please? Yeah, I'm Mr Loxton and I'm a teaching assistant at Golden Hill. Okay, great. And tell us about why it is you put yourself forward into this health and fitness programme. Okay, so I'm coming to um, mid-term of my life and it's difficult to get the weight off. I've had two serious operations on my elbows. Uh, I have a young family, so it's important for me to keep my weight down so that my joints um, last a little bit longer would be good. Uh, and also to build a bit of muscle on my arms that I've lost through my operation. Okay. Brilliant, thank you very much indeed. Um, and finally, we're going to hear from um, the gentleman who's the teacher of these students. Um, so I can invite um, Mr. Taylor, uh, who is um, very much been the sort of driving force behind this whole programme, uh, just to tell us a little bit more about where he expects this programme to lead, both for the students and also for the members of staff. Mr. Taylor. Um, basically, the GCSE requires children to be able to design a six-week training programme. And in the past, they've always got them to do it for themselves. 
but that's not realistic. That doesn't really lend them to a future life in, in health and fitness. So I thought what I'd do is I'd actually get them to get a client and when they've got a client, they've really got to think a little bit more about designing a more suitable program and also thinking about the needs of that individual. That really takes them up into that top band to get the A's and A stars. If they do it for themselves, they might get a B and a C, but if we really push it to that next level, uh, it really gives them every opportunity to get 100%. Brilliant, okay. Um, and um, as I say, it's going to be interesting to see how these guys get on. Uh, maybe we'll perhaps do a sort of uh, a follow up in about six weeks' time, um, and you'll see some really fit, um, very, really trim members of staff. And if it works for them, who knows, it may even work for people like me. Um, that's all from Golden Hillock uh, School this morning, Golden Moments Episode 2. Look forward to tuning in next week for Golden Hillock Golden Moments Episode 3, when we'll be hearing more about the dynamic and exciting activities taking place here at the school. Thank you very much.